I don't think people understand why there's no Euro Cup in cricket. I mean, we've got the UEFA European Championship for football, so why not cricket? Let's dive into the reasons behind this. First off, there's a big ol' imbalance in team strength. England's got a strong, well-established cricket team, but other European teams like Ireland, Scotland, and the Netherlands? They're still developing and lag behind in competitiveness. This would make for a less thrilling tournament, don't y'all think? Now money talks. The Asia Cup? It's a hit because cricket's super popular in places like India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. High viewership means big bucks from sponsorship deals. In Europe, cricket just doesn't have that kind of widespread love or financial backing. Simply put, it's less financially viable to organize a large-scale cricket tournament here. And then there's the crazy busy international cricket calendar. Major cricketing nations, especially England, have packed schedules with international series, domestic leagues like the 100 and County Championship, and global tournaments like the ICC World Cup and T20 World Cup. Squeezing another big tournament like the Euro Cup into this mix? It's a tough ask. Infrastructure's another hurdle. Many European countries are just getting started with their cricket development compared to Asia or Australia. Sure, Ireland and the Netherlands are making strides, but overall, the facilities, coaching, and player base just aren't robust enough yet to support a major regional tournament. And let's not forget the cultural and historical context. Cricket just hasn't been as deeply embedded in European countries' culture as it has in parts of Asia, Australia, and the Caribbean. Football's the king in Europe, both in participation and viewership, which leaves less room for cricket to grow to the level needed for a Euro Cup. So while the idea of a Euro Cup in cricket sounds intriguing, several big obstacles are in the way. The imbalance in team strength, financial challenges, scheduling conflicts, limited infrastructure, and cultural history all add up. For now, we'll keep enjoying international cricket and hope for the sports growth across Europe. Thanks for watching.